keep from hopping anywhere. Trying to evolve it into a pick comp here. Could have gone for Galio, but they don't want to take that particular risk and still play on the front foot with the Malzahar at night for even more kill pressure onto the Swain. If the card does show up, it's bot lane. Headbutt back on Amato, who does use the flash, uses the taunt, but the flash comes in. First blood very easily going over to Gorilla. Should be able to actually burst this one as oh. Shelly does a lot of damage. Stand United comes in. Will the smite actually be there as Peanut? Oh, he doesn't smite it, but eventually picks it up. As now Smeb wants Megana, but he doesn't get it. It's two free kills for Kingzone as everyone's just too squishy on the side of KT. Khan now just tanking forward and the Malzahar just can't do anything. Headbutt, Polv, back off cooldown, and Peanut gets another one. It's 4-0. It there feels is just no option for them as the outer turret mid lane is going to be taken down. Stats for King Zone as far as getting that viewing to grow. First turret certainly helping out there. Def looking to clean up the bottom wave of minions. Pressure is all over this map for King Zone, but especially on the bottom side. They do, and that's why they're trying to make down tempo plays, just finding turrets somewhere. Well, they're going to try and find a kill here as well on Takan. Spirit's Refuge there from Mata does absolutely nothing, but they are still able to grab the kill. It will feel like they are far enough ahead, they should never be trading one for one, or even a kill on one for one. And you saw before, Smeb is going in aggressive, but uh, this wasn't the time, you'd think. Doesn't have the hop, but Mata is in here. Smeb gets into Meganar, wants to find a big Nara into the wall, but he used it, and nothing is going to come of it. Beat it the Swain. Swain hasn't been represented in the damage he's done. As there's the flash from Khan, he wants Ezreal for breakfast, and he's going to get it very easily as well. Bit of a... Deep breath there from Deft. He had his flash up, but the silence into the feast was enough. The Trundle just got an assist, really, and it's going to be the third outer turret going down. The side of KT Rolster. Knockout matches Gen G often beat KT. There's so many interesting historic points that are sticking around that are persisted. go for the W Evolve second. Bishop Raj does get a lot of value. Prey down to half health from Deft, who's playing very aggressive that he picked up on his last back, but he's still behind. In farm, in goes Khan, as Yukal could be in trouble. He'll yep. have to use the ult if he wants to try and get out of the way of this one. He flashes, has to use the stopwatch. Flash comes in from Khan, as now stands United down, but he's going to have the feast score. Jumps in, wants to try and now get something back. Spirit's Refuge, not enough, but they trade one for one. The big tank now dead for Kingzone, could be big for KT. But if they pull back Marta and take him down, it's going to be a huge... going to be augmented by some more damage, potentially. I'd like to see a Guardian Angel as soon as possible. Oh! Trisha Barrage was very well timed, but the Rend is going to be there. Shouldn't get a lead. Man, 3,000 is certainly the aim of the game. As KT sitting on top of a ward is a problem. Arcane Shift gets Deft out of the way of damage. A score has to leap. Has that evolved now as well, considering level 16 is Mata. Okay, he's just dead. Khan was able to get the ring up like you wouldn't believe. He has to now try and outsmite a Feast and a Rend. Fate's Call again going to come down. Doesn't get the initial knockup, but good God, the Malzahar is dead before the fight even starts. The Callista going to be grabbing a kill on that one as Deft. He's on topside, Smeb in there as well. Deft is going to take a lot of damage from the Swain as we've got Meganar in here from Smeb. Has Flash. Can he get the five man? No, decides to flash away instead. No vision as they move in. Score has Stand United on top of him. Marta getting out of the way of this pillar as it's now so low. It's within Feast and Rend range. As KT want to be able to get it, they can't. And Kingzone are going to turn off the Baron as well. Demonic Ascension going to be utilized. Gorilla's going to die. And now KT find themselves in a 4v5 scenario. BDD just going to get altered. Killed in the suppression. Yukal grabs that as score, just shepherding Peanut as they know he doesn't have his flash. Leaps in, Khan has the You can't poke away the minions, you can't 5v5 in the open. But they lose two members to do so. KT will be able to get an Inferno, which of course will have some value. Although Prey and Peanut, they want to fight. Yeah, Peanut's going to pop into the pit. Score! He gets the smite. Red buff's going to kill him, but the smite was the important part. Getting the pick, huge for Kingzone. When it felt like Kingzone had laid a knockout punch about 25 minutes ago. Exactly. Stop at this stage of the game, and will be augmented by the rest of his team. Layering it on top, but that's a really good rupture to come down. And in goes Smarter. He does have the stopwatch to keep him alive, but this is more a disengage play. The bouncy castle's in there. Amada not going to survive this time, but Gorilla, the follow up damage is there, and now score. Yeah, understanding 4v5, it is going to be the Baron taken down. Of course, the single target damage available from KT, given this Elder Drake's health bar at the moment, is certainly going to be very high. So it will be Elder for Baron buff. buff. Minions don't actually have a Baron buff. Minute now on the clock though, and this is exactly when Kingzone want to try and start getting aggressive under these turrets. They do so, True Shot Barrage, decent damage, but that is going to spell the mid lane inhibitor turrets death. 
inhibitor should fall afterwards, but KT, like you say, difficult to dive, difficult to move forward on, as Teleport now is going to get a very healthy King Zone towards the inhib, and KT slowly losing out to the pressure. 30 seconds left on the Baron as, oh God. That is not the Smev that you want, not the one that's going to die on his own. Meganar in perfect timing there as the Pillar is down at great position. The Nar to get back, but Prey's just going to get that one cheeky auto that locks him down. Peanut also very, very low as Deft safe on the back line, but that's two inhibitors down and KT on the ropes next to their Nexus turrets. One minute power play when they had Baron, there's no Elder. Well executed by King Zone. Difficult to win in this moment unless they find something big. Yep, Vision of Empire, pretty good, and that's going to get rid of the shield on Yukal. Nexus turret is going to go down now as well as Deft pulled forward, but Arcane shifts out. He's very safe in this back line, but now in goes Gorilla, doesn't get it. The Pulverize isn't good enough, as the Nether Grasp is going to be enough to take down the support, but now Yukal in a poor position, and BDD flashing forward. Demon Flare is going to do it. King Zone looking for redemption against KT. They get it like they always do in 2018, and the Nexus falls. Prey even cleans up his old adversary.